Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to add these tabs like layers, history, channels, these two down here also, brushes, palettes, uh, patterns, and also uh, how to restore dialogues like the tool options. Sometimes uh, while you're working, you'll accidentally uh, remove a dock from its place. You could just click on the tab here. It'll highlight. Then you can drag it over and drop it in place. And that'll restore the uh, tools, tool options, tool options for your toolbox. This is the toolbox. Okay, uh, now say you want to add a tab here. Say, go to uh, this little bugger here. Click on that and go add tab. Now let's say you want to add device status. There you have it. Now you have it there. Okay, I just removed it by dragging it out and clicking it and closing it. But uh, if you add, say you add device status, you want to remove that, you just click on the little radio button there, go close tab, and it's gone. Now you can also move these tabs around, all these tabs. You can move this tab over to here, and then move this tab over to here. Or you can move, it, move this tab back to there. move two options back to there. Or you could move your palettes over to here. Or you can move them back to there. Now the same thing goes with these over here, with over over here on the uh, on this panel here you can add tabs by clicking this little radio button here and selecting add tab so you can add say navigation if I had an image open this would uh, show what I could do with it but I, since I don't there's really not much to show there now I'm gonna remove that so just close tab same thing here now if you want to add a tab there, you do the same thing, add tab. Add any tab you want. Tool presets. There are my tool presets for all my tools. Now if you see this dotted line here, you can drag that to make uh, the dialog bigger on the bottom. And I'm going to just remove that close tab. That's pretty much it for tabs. Oh, uh, now recently closed dialogs. I haven't closed any recently so this is empty. But if I had, like say I closed this dialog or this dialog like that, it shows up in layers, undo channels, and brushes and patterns. It, sh it shows up here. So I could just click that and it reestablishes that panel. Same thing with this. If I close that and I click on recently closed dialog uh, docs, click on that, it reopens, reopens that panel. Now, that's pretty much it. I mean, uh, I can't think of anything else to think of. 
let's see, dockable dialogues, history gram. Now, if you do that, it opens up a dialogue. I'll show, I'll show you again. Windows, dockable dialogues. Let's try uh, paint dynamics. Okay, there's another dialogue open. Let's um, go here. Now, say we have all these open. Now, you could just drag this over to here. Put that there. And just drag this over to here or to here. To here or to here. I'll put it here. And since I don't want it there, I'm going to remove it. So we go close tab, tap, close tab. I don't want this uh, here either. So the history, history gram. So I'll just close that tab too. And that's how it's done. Uh, may seem simple to some, or it's simple to me, but anyway, a lot of times people get confused when they see that, like, go like, oh no, what happened? So you just drag it over. And that's basically it. You just drag it over and plop it back into place. That's it. Now, say if you want to drag a dialogue out, work with it, then you could just you just drag it right back, drag it right back, and you you got it. Well, I hope that explains how to add tabs and dialogues to your GIMP. Thanks for watching.